Alleluia! Happy Easter, everyone. How did your Lent go? Were you able to keep all your Lenten promises? Were you able to pray as often as you wanted to, to sacrifice those special things that you really wanted to do, and to serve others? It was a long 40 days, but it's great to know that Jesus has risen, and he has looked after us through those 40 days, making us strong. Let's take a minute to thank Jesus for all he has done for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, my dear Jesus, you have shown us your power. You have defeated the darkness and opened the gates of heaven. And you've made all things new. Be with us always and help us to celebrate your special rising from the dead. Amen. And now let's listen to the first reading for our Easter Sunday. This is a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter said to the people, I'm sure that you know what has been told all over Judea about Jesus of Nazareth, that God anointed him with the Holy Spirit and power, that he went from place to place doing good works and healing people from evil for God was with him. We ourselves saw all that he did in the land of the Jews and Jerusalem. They killed him by hanging him on a cross, but God raised him up on the third day, and we have seen him. We ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He told us to preach to the people and to tell them that he was the chosen one by God, to be the judge of all people, both living and dead. All the prophets tell us that everyone who believes in Jesus will have their sins forgiven in his name. And this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So this kind of sounds like Jesus's life story right there, how he did all these great things. He performed miracles, he healed people, he helped people. And what did, what did Peter say about all of this? He said he even healed people from evil. But even after all of these great things that he did, what happened? As Peter tells us, he was killed on the cross. But that didn't stop him, not for a second. God raised him from the dead, and Peter knew Jesus was alive. How did Peter know Jesus was alive? Right, he was there with Jesus. He ate with Jesus, he drank with Jesus. If it wasn't Jesus, he would have known that when he saw him. And he said their sins would be forgiven, and I think at that point, that's when Peter knew for sure this was Jesus. It was wonderful news. And speaking of wonderful news, let's read the Gospel. So everyone stand. And today we get back to our Alleluia. So Christ is risen from the dead, and you will see him just as he said. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. This is a reading from the Gospel of Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, when the Sabbath was over, some of the women went to the tomb where Jesus was buried. The women's names were Mary Magdalene, Salome, and Mary, the mother of James. They brought special oil with sweet spices in it to put on Jesus' body. It was very early in the morning, just after the sun had risen, and one of the women asked, who will roll that huge stone away from the front of the tomb for us? But when they got there, they saw that the stone was already moved. The women went into the tomb, and they saw a young man sitting on the right side. He was wearing a white robe, and it frightened the women. But the man said, Don't be afraid. You are looking for Jesus, the one who was crucified. He has risen. He's not here. Look, this is the place where he was buried. Now go and tell the disciples and Peter that Jesus is going to Galilee. Say to them, you will see him there just as he told you. 
But the women ran away from the tomb because they were quite frightened. They didn't tell anyone what happened because they were afraid. This is the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So this was the greatest story ever told. It was a story of Jesus rising from the dead, literally becoming back alive after all the suffering he went through. And it was on the first day of the week, which is, what's the first day of the week? The first day of the week is Sunday, and that was Easter Sunday, just like today. And why were those women even going to the tomb? Does anyone remember? Right, they were going there because it was custom to bring oils and perfumes for the body. They wondered how they'd move the stone, but somehow the stone was gone. Another miracle? Of course. The tomb that Jesus was in was like a big rock caved out. It's not like our, where we bury people today. And they had to put a big rock in front of it to block it in case someone wanted to steal the body because they really still didn't quite believe that Jesus was going to rise from the dead. But he was gone, and he didn't have to break any rocks to get out. And the person who was sitting in there, who would that have been? Could it have been maybe an angel, a messenger from God, to tell the women where he went, that he had been risen from the dead? Actually gives me goosebumps just to hear the story, because it's so awesome how it happened. Imagine being right there, witnessing all of this, knowing he was dead, knowing he's alive, and knowing how wonderful everything is going to be now that those gates of heaven have been opened. I think today it would be nice to make a cross to remind us that Jesus died, but it would also be nice to decorate that cross in such bright colors because he came back to life. He came back to life in the resurrection. Now, what does resurrection mean? It means rebirth or return to life. So his resurrection is what we celebrate. The cross would remind us of his cruel death, but it would also show us with beautiful colors of all the wonderful things he did so that we would remember all the wonderful things he did of his power and his glory and his love and his forgiving. So what we will do is help get help from our parents because it involves cutting and if your mom and dad happen to have wax paper, then just grab a piece of wax paper about this big, the size of a regular sheet of paper, and glue all sorts of colored tissue paper on it. Cut little pieces of tissue paper, put it in a bit of a rectangle, you don't have to fill the whole page, but just enough to get onto your cross. Then take a piece of black paper and cut a very thick cross like this out of it. When you've cut that cross, I think you should have two pieces of paper. Then fold it gently down the middle and cut out what would be like a frame around it so that when you open it up, it looks like this. So you have your frame and you have all your colored paper that you put inside the cross. Now Jesus wants us to tell the story of his resurrection, the story of his life, and the story of how he saved us and how he's going to continue to save us and forgive us. Each one of these colors can be a story. His power, his grace, his mercy, his love, how you found Jesus, how you told people about Jesus, and if you put it on your window, it will make a wonderful witness to anyone who sees it. So for today, being the last day in our egg book, we're going to sing our Easter song. Remember, it's to the tune of Farmer in the Dell, and it goes like this. Jesus is alive, Jesus is alive, hallelujah, praise his name, Jesus is alive. And he'll always be alive in our hearts, and we'll always be able to tell people about him. Have a blessed Easter Sunday, giving glory to our risen Lord, and a wonder-filled week ahead. Happy Easter.